that I'm going to be using the Secrets Vogue. Care of my skin. For doing this video and this collab with me. Like I'm missing something. Hey you guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you clicked here because we're going to dive right into something so fun that I may create a series on this. Not really sure. We'll see how you love it. Um, but Vogue's channel I watch very often and I love watching everybody's skincare routines, makeup routines. Everybody has a different style, honestly. There's so many different brands and products out there too, so it's very intriguing and I'm always curious on why people use what, all that stuff, what have you. So we're gonna dive in today to one of my favorite actresses ever since I was a younger girl. And honestly, I just watched her video for the very first time. I didn't even know it was out there until I was scrolling on their channel. And I was like, dang, like, this is so good. And it had me cracking up. And without any further ado, you know what's happening. Eva Longoria, we are doing this. I don't even know if she'll ever see this video that I'm recreating, but her look was very inspiring, really beautiful, and I am excited to recreate it. I've laid everything out skincare in the makeup that I'm going to be using in today's video as well just to go ahead and make the process of this a little speedier um, because as everybody uses different things this can take a minute for me to get used to because it's not my routine this is her routine so I do have my laptop here so it is going to play the video um, but it's called Eva Longoria's hottest mom makeup routine beauty secrets Vogue. So that's what we're diving into. If you have someone that you would love for me to recreate their routine, I would love to do that. Just drop that in the comments. I'll go find that video or you can DM me on Instagram. Let me know that too. Send me the link if that's easier to kind of give me that direct in. All right, but let's go ahead and dive in. I've washed my face already just to go ahead and get my skin prepped. I did do a few things that she's already done to help as well, but let's go ahead and let's play this video. Hi everybody, I'm Eva Longoria. You probably don't recognize me without lashes and makeup. I am gonna walk you through my skincare routine that I do every day. And then I'm gonna do my everyday makeup look, which may be a lot for some of you guys because I'm Latina. I wear a full face of makeup every day. I just want you to know this is my Sofia Ricci bun. I do this almost every day now because it looks so chic. Oh my God, I need hoops. Okay, that's better. I am gonna start with my hyaluronic acid. I taught the world how to say hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, for sure, that is a tongue twister. <laughs> Google has been friendly to me. I don't personally have hyaluronic acid separately as a serum because it's always, it's like inside the products that I'm using. But we're gonna go ahead and start with niacinamide and we are gonna go ahead and get this all over the face. Let's see what she does with it. And this hyaluronic acid is for like plumping, refreshing, filling in those fine lines. I use this Augustina's Bader face oil. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the face oil. So I'm gonna let that sit. And then the next one I'm gonna use because I have so many different face oils, I have a couple new products that I am using. Um, and this one right here is really cool from Ordinary. This is a soothing and barrier support serum. So we're gonna go ahead and use that and it doesn't you know, hurt that it's pink. So we're gonna use that first too, just to give all the extra things. And then we'll go in with my squalene face oil from Ordinary as well. Love this stuff. Make sure you're getting an even coverage of this when you're using it. Yeah, I think that went down my eyelid. Perfect. I couple that with the Augustinus Vader Rich Cream. I tend to have dry skin. I'm like... Okay, so she's going in with a moisturizer, so we're just going to follow suit. I'm going to make sure all that kind of set in and is soaked into the skin and did you catch that she said Sophia Richie's hair bun pulled back that's 100% of what I see in all of her videos and TikToks they're very clean bun chic air which I think is great and you can pull off I don't have a strong jawline so I'm very much not leaning into that all the time but I'm leaning into it for this video depends on the look all right but let's go ahead with a skin cream I'm gonna go ahead and just put on one of my favorite new moisturizers right here. Oh, Hendrickson, I think is how you pronounce it. Anyways, it's just spelled different and it feels so freaking good. It is 
really like oh, what? just the richest most amazing cream my skin is also very drying let's continue normal to dry i use my face defy machine to depuff my skin so i like to like get in here i'm gonna pause this because i really have to got to work on my jaw so we're gonna do these lymphatic things here and like pull and then push it away to kind of contour my cheekbones you want to go towards your lymphatic glands to get all this like liquid and water and puffing out of your face get it out. facts i love taking care of my skin i like the way it feels i feel like i'm pampering myself every day in my bathroom and then i use my revitalith eye serum i love this applicator because it has these little balls and they feel so as you get older yeah i honestly have been using a new eye cream too i've been in and out of using an eye cream just trying to find the one that i like the best but for sure our eyes are so much like they need some help guys they need help the older we get our eyes have got to get some help let's see what else she does with this one this one's interesting i'm kind of curious might look this one up she's using a lot of brands that i have not tapped into yet so i'm interested prep your skin specifically your under eyes i'm kind of generous with that because then over it i lay my augustinus vader eye patches okay so we're gonna go in with i have two here of these eye patches i've used the ones from ulta beauty and then mary k ash has a company called mary k cosmetics which is a direct selling company and i used to be a part of that you know obviously they have wonderful products and you just want to like pop these eye patches Sometimes these can put a film underneath my eye area, so you also want to be careful of that. They're so cooling. They feel really nice. Um, I'm all about women empowerment and women bosses. It's just like so inspiring as a woman older in age that can really make some new business moves. And Mary Kay Ash was definitely one. If you don't know her story, look that up. It's really good. All right, let's continue on. one of four girls and literally the only beauty advice my mom gave me was like shave your legs with soap and water and i think i used ivory soap on my face for the first 25 years of my life it's so dry in la right now and i love this laneige lip mask like i don't even know how i'm talking to you guys without this on i Okay, so I'm going to go in with, I have Laneige, which I love. I don't have their lip mask necessarily, but I have the Tatcha, um, the sleep mask, which I'm obsessed with. And I use this every single morning and every single night because in the mornings I'm typically doing skincare and I just want everything to soak and absorb into my skin. Love that so much. I love this stuff. You can find all the products that I personally use and love that are in my makeup case and my vanity on my Shop My app in the description. All right, but let's let's continue on. I like to say an affirmation with my jasmine oil. I put it on my heart, drop on my heart. It smells so good. I go clockwise and I have positive thoughts about being the light today for anybody that encounters me some sunblock I, always, I never do less than 50 okay so i am all in my spiritual game like obviously i'm a believer in christ like love and just spending time like praying and talking to god is so important to me so i love that she's just talking about positive affirmations that's obviously so important as well speaking very highly into yourself because if you don't do that to yourself how can you expect accept and know that others are doing that so just really just telling yourself how wonderful and great you are and yeah and i like that she's like anybody that i come in contact with like i just want to be a light to them i think that's so special so now she's going in with spf so we're gonna dive into my spf we'll just continue to play hers but i'm gonna do the elta md um 40 let's hear what she has to say about it some sunblock i, always, I never do less than 50 by the way, my skin feels so good right now. Is this routine everything? Do you realize I already did moisturizer too and then you did SPF at the end? We're gonna talk about that later, but actually that's gonna be in a conversation with the BBC. It's just a lot to cover and unfold in this and dissect it, but it's everything. All right, let's continue on. I can't believe I just discovered are these Lumi Glotions. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and with the Drunk Elephant, this is new to me and when she did this skin tint, it was everything. So these are very different. So I have skin tint, but I wanted something that was more like dewy and glowy. So I was like, I'm gonna drag my Drunk Elephant into this. Um, and these are so bronzy and so pretty. She's using her hands a lot, <laughs> which I don't, I don't use my hands a lot, but we're gonna go in with the Drunk Elephant and add a little bit. A lot of women use this and mix it into their moisturizer, but we're gonna go ahead and do this because we need some, we need some color to the skin. Like, I feel like that's what she did. I don't, am I, <laughs> am I messing up right now? We'll see. Let's play. And I know it looks a little dark now, but like it will match. So I'm gonna start with my eyes while everything is cooking. And I like to start with a little concealer on my eyelids. Um, I Bake. don't like to you know, have a baking thing that's not for me. Like Especially as you get over 40, like all those fine lines, that powder just gets in those fine lines. Especially for my everyday look, I kind of go lines, super light. Okay, so she's skipped. For my everyday look, I've got to do a brow brush. I think what I'm going to have to do, because that concealer is just not enough on my lids, I'm going to go in with my MAC paint pot. Trying to like look around my camera and I'm gonna have to put a little bit on my lids. I feel like that definitely evened that out. All right, let's see what she does. I think that she's using a tart palette is what it looked like. Yeah, right here. Right use more, more of like, like a navy brown. brown. There's like a the little sparkly one sometimes. I'll put that right on the brow bone. So it'll make my eyebrows pop. And then I'll go in with like not too dark, but just like a transition color on my lid. I uh, grew up as the ugly duckling in my family because my sisters are like blonde, hazel eyes, light skinned, and I came out black hair, dark skin, black eyes. And la preta fea means ugly dark one, although it is a term of endearment. <laughs> and my family called me that. I thought my name was fea. And I mean, I blossomed really late. I grew up without this relationship to beauty. Kind of wasn't, wasn't my thing. And I was like, got it. I'm not beautiful. I'm going to be smart. I'm going to be funny. And I think that's why I became an actress. Because I was like, I'm so funny. <laughs> I'm so funny, you guys. So I found my identity in so many other things. I never identified as beautiful. I kind of still don't. I'm going to judge it up a little bit. I'm gonna use this like, um, it's called Firecracker, but it's kind of like a bronzy, shimmery. It's so funny because when I got People Most Beautiful, my sisters were like, why? <laughs> Nothing like family to ground you assholes. I am gonna go in with some brown eyeliner in here and I'm obsessed with Victoria Beckham's um, satin Kajal liner. This is in color cocoa and I like to put it in the lash line above. So I just put it a little bit on the lash line, like really into the lashes. And then I'm gonna smudge it out with some eyeshadow powder. I'm getting like one of this chocolate brown color with a really narrow brush. And I'm just moving that eyeliner out. Today, the Urban Decay one, let's do her brows. I'm obsessed with my Huda Beauty eyebrow pencil. The point is so thin, it's so tiny that it looks like strokes of hair. What my makeup artist taught me was to like outline first. So you like outline everything and then you fill it in. Look at that. Lining, which is good. And then I'm going back in. I never, I told y'all I never use, um, that other side of that liner and now we'll just go back in with these strokes because personally she's just using like one side create those like little hair like strokes and then she goes back through get like more of a natural it's very natural depends on the look that i'm going for but i'm into it it looks good my skin actually feels very good it doesn't feel like I'm missing something the timeline of how i'm doing the product is very strange to me but i'm having a little um the product's balling up a little bit on me too, like from how I put on to versus like what I'm used to doing or whatever, but yeah. Okay, so let's get into what she's doing now. I'm really 
Okay, so I just did the glossy air. Um, right here and I actually love this skin tint I hesitated today that's why I got two of them out I wasn't really sure so to say I have really enjoyed I just haven't used it as much and it is considered like a foundation it's a glowy foundation but the glossy is really pretty it added some color to my skin um, not typically what I would do like all the time it's typically more like summertime but I mean it's given color all right now she goes in with a concealer do the kabuki brush that I have from um, Fenty Beauty and it's a face and body brush so this one's very dense kind of like she was talking about and then she's doing the Mario um, cream bronzer I'm gonna do the rare beauty cream bronzer so let's go ahead and place this on I'm obsessed with this brush from it cosmetics and it's like the perfect like blends up just the, out of just the outside of my face so I'm gonna look snatched <laughs> kids are saying you guys <laughs> i'm using the mario cream blush this one is just peachy i have to put it just on the apple of my cheek and also a makeup artist taught me when i was shooting she puts it a little higher like really i don't know why i act like it's not but it is and then she goes across her nose because she got, first of all this is really happening and i'm really like loving it okay ah! This is coming out so well. So That's how I feel right now. Highlight. I'm gonna do the e.l.f. highlighter. She's using that same brush. I've not really been a fan of doing that. I'm just like, Ugh. it's just mixing so much together. But honestly, I don't want to get a lot of this highlight out because it is not a very pigmented highlight. Highlight right there under the eye just to give it a little poppy pop. I actually love using this brush. Why have I not used this brush more? Okay, so let's see what else she does. All right, the other amazing product I love from Victoria Beckham is her bronzer. I like to set my cream bronze with the powder bronze so it kind of stays all day. And I kind of mix both of her colors. I was gonna go light today, you guys. It never happens. We get in front of the mirror. Every time I'm talking to Olivia, She's like, I wasn't going to do much, but got carried away. It happens. I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Warmth Bronzer. Y'all know. I love this. By the way, I did a collared shirt. Is hers collared? I don't know. It might not be collared. I feel like her shirt was collared. I was like, I'm really channeling her today. Um, but I take this Warmth Bronzer down sometimes if I don't have a tan. And y'all know I'm in like doing laser treatment. So every time I do my tanning drops or have sun on my face they're like have you been tanning and i'm like no it's tanning drops but anyways i just have to be careful with that i think she went back with a little bit more concealer they have chosen i'm just gonna put a little bit more concealer they have chosen to do this video before i'm picking up my son from school so i am gonna show up as the hottest mom out there be like bam hey what's his homework first of all i'm actually picking up my kids too in just a few minutes i'm leaving the house from this is RMS Beauty Tinted Unpowder. Beauty That's Tinted Unpowder. That's what she calls it, the unpowder. Because it's not powdery, but it sets everything in like the most beautiful way. It's so finely milled. I am a... Like, Anyone who dares insult me or my country shall feel my fury. Yeah. Good. Streaming exclusively on Max. Makeup, I like dresses. I love a good lip liner. Is Victoria Beckham. In shade number five. Mine is shade number five too. Eva, we're the same. Same these. Okay. I'm gonna mush it. Getting the uh, coloration. Oh, I grew up in this beautiful my mom scent. This is uh, 815 ginger spice. Coloration. This is rare beauty. Humble. 
And then I'm gonna do toasted almond in the center. Now, you could do mascara and be done, or you can put lash. I mean, a Lashify. Okay, I've heard great things about Lashify um, from Courage. Anyways, I brought that up to her today. And she was like, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna get back into them. I'm like, yeah, anyways. She's like, Eva wears them? I'm like, she does, she does, she wears them. Lash fun. that's, it's the going thing, honey. Um, anyways, I am using Ardell lashes, which I do appreciate and love. At first, I didn't love this one because of, um, didn't love the invisible thingy or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? But now I love it. So anyways, we're gonna put these lashes on and which is a lash extension system that you can do at home. I'm gonna use C10 and C12. So I like to um, go short here and then longer in the top. And then I'm gonna take this other side, which is this like white glue, keep a drop, drop. And I'm gonna grab my C10 first off the little thing and you pick it up and you push your thing back and put it on. Like that. My last touch uh, for the makeup is a gloss. I'm just gonna put right in the center, right here. And I love this Fenty Glow. She has great glosses. This is my Victoria Beckham Portofino. All right, I have to go pick up my son. Thank you, Eva, for doing this video and this collab with me. Ah! Wouldn't that be so much fun if we were doing this together? I would love that. But anyways, I used earlier Good Girl Carolina Herrera. Anyways, I do that roller. Like every single day, this is almost gone. But I also do the Marc Jacobs. They smell phenomenal. I smell delicious right now. So good. All right, anyways, I kind of matched her hoops. Found her a little bit bigger. Got the jewels. Got the beautiful. This is from Uncommon James. This beautiful diamond um ring that goes all the way around i'm obsessed go check out their website this is anna louisa this is for my husband this is olivia hayward anyways all my designers obsessed and yeah today was a great video see you in the next one by the way olivia also back in the day i would watch her do her lipstick and i'd be like what are you doing to your mouth and she's like i'm blending she goes like that and it takes the liner and it blends it very softly which does work but i always thought it was very interesting so now when i catch myself doing that i'm like mm, that's olivia that's olivia oh, she did not do any shadow or mascara on the bottom y'all know girl cannot ride like that where is my mascara I literally pulled it out i have to take a little bit here and my twist to it i have very long dark lashes and it looks like she does too obviously i have to go get the kids from school not even kidding um so i'm gonna go but thank you for being here